So in relation to the recent short that I put out, um, no politician is going to come and save you. There's not going to be some situation in which you elect some leader and then your life magically becomes hunky-dory. Everything is solved. Everything is perfect. Oh, look at that. My problems are out the window. That elected official has definitely righted the boat, <laughs> has made everything great. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about in the last few weeks, talking about how fear propaganda cripples your mind. Um, the politician on the left isn't going to solve things. The politician on the right isn't going to solve things. <laughs> you have a very unique situation. You know exactly what's going on in your life. You know what you need to do to fix whatever problems you have. You know exactly what is good, what is bad, and what you need to do to, to fix it, to make it better. That politician doesn't know jack. Politicians are downstream to economics. They don't, they just react to whatever's going on. And to get a vote, to be in a place of power, they'll say whatever they need to say to get elected. So, I mean, yeah, uh, that, that guy, I'm going to vote for him. He knows what's up. He's going to make it right. Oh, that lady, you know, she's awesome. I'm going to vote for her. She's going to do good by this nation. You know, like, no. No, 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 no. It's all on you. It's all on you. And I'm sorry. I, I really don't want to involve politics with this channel, but this needs to be said that you are in control of your life. Go back to the totalitarian, the dictatorships that have existed in the timeline of humanity. There's a lot to look for, okay? You could... You could look at something like the USSR. You could look at something thousands of years ago. You could look whatever you want. But there have been regimes that restrict freedoms. Okay? Now look at what they restricted. And look at the societies of people who still participated in those things that were restricted. I brought up the USSR specifically because they restricted religion. So what happened? People had churches in their basements. People still worshipped secretly, okay? Just because a government made something illegal doesn't mean it disappears. People were still living their lives. What can we take from that? All right, I know that's, you know, over here, its own subject, maybe a little abstract, whatever. But if a government comes in, a, a mandate of sorts, that says, like, you can't garden anymore, is that going to stop all people from gardening? No, of course not. Someone, uh, they run on this platform of like, I will fix this specific problem. Will they? I mean, <laughs> really think about it, okay? If Trump is elected, will he close the border? Like, will the border be completely sealed off? No illegal immigrants are coming in at all. Is that a thing? Maybe, maybe. I don't want to necessarily name names or call on one specific policy because things are so transient with the times. But you could hope that that would work out if that's what you support. Sure. And if it's a problem, I, I hope it's fixed. Great. But you're, you're relying on one person to get into office and go, this is happening. And then this happens. And, and the problem goes away. It's like... What idealistic world do you live in? That's not how things work, okay? Switch it to the other side. Kamala is saying, oh, uh, we will, will give some kind of stipend or a tax credit for people who want to buy homes. What are you talking about? <laughs> you're, you're going to involve a bunch of middle people in a process of buying a home, and that will lower the price of homes somehow? Okay. So until you see people actually put into homes and this process in action, uh, don't talk to me about how this is going to work out. Because anytime you involve middlemen of any, of any kind, prices go up because everyone involved in the process has to be paid, right? So we're already in a national deficit. 
of sorts, and you want to add a, a tax credit for home ownership, how exactly does that work? Uh, I would love to hear details. I would love to understand how that works exactly, because there's lots of people who want to buy homes, who want to be homeowners. Awesome. Will this one person being elected actually solve the problem of you not being a homeowner? I don't know. I'm just some silly person on the internet, okay? But you're, you're waiting for some savior to show up, someone to come in and solve all your problems. It's not going to happen. You have the most direct affectation on, on what is going on in your life. You can choose exactly what's going on in your life and, and make plans to enact the dreams that you have. And you pay attention to these debates, you pay attention to some elected official, you, you look for a politician to come in and solve whatever problems you have, whether it's poverty or too many taxes or people joining your nation that you don't want joining, that whatever it is, that one person and their policies isn't going to solve it. You have to learn to live with the reality of what's going on around you. You have to adapt to the times. You have to make things work in your little universe of whatever's happening, okay? If, you're, if your home is defenseless, you have to learn how to defend it. If you don't make enough money, you have to learn how to make enough money. If you can't afford a home, hey, congratulations, you're a renter. You gotta figure out how to overcome these things. No one's coming to save you. And, and look at that historically, okay? When I was born, uh, George H.W. Bush was president. All right, I'm, I'm too young to understand any of his policies, and I'm not going to provide any links or anything. It, like, whatever he did, he did things. Okay, great. And, and then you have Bill Clinton. He was great. He was bad. He was whatever, right? I was still a little too young for that. George W. Bush is then elected. The only thing I ever heard was... Uh, uh, he can't do public speaking. He um, may or may not be deficient in the intellect. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what the media told me. Um, I was still a little too young to really understand anything he was doing or what was going on in the world or any of his policies, really. And then I kind of came of age, if you will, in the Obama era. Did Obama make everything golden and wonderful? Uh, all the world's problems are solved, racism is gone, and everyone can afford a home, and world peace has been achieved. Was that a thing? Did that come about during the 2008 to 2016 time frame? No? Oh, some problems got worse. Some problems got better. Great. Was that because of Obama? I don't know. And I don't think so, honestly. And then Trump is elected. Oh, the economy's doing great. Oh, this is happening. Oh, the peace talks or war or whatever. Whatever. Did Trump solve all your problems when he was president? Was your life better because person was in an office? Did it matter? Or did you just go to work and come home, either alone or to your family? And life just continued. And now you think like, Oh, this new candidate, they'll solve all the problems. You know, they'll, that's what I need. Their policies will fix whatever issue is going on. Trump being reelected, Kamala being elected. Oh, you know, that'll get me a house. That will solve the border crisis. That will, whatever it is, you, you think like they're going to solve problems? They, did you not see the debate? <laughs> It was a waste of a half an hour, uh, hour and a half, excuse me. Um, <laughs> why even tune into this stuff? The hour and a half could have been spent with your kids playing, having a great time. That hour and a half could have been spent making a nice meal. Oh man, I enjoyed that dinner. And that would be more impactful than whatever it is the president does. Because they could come in and they could elect this incredibly fascistic government, whatever party gets elected, they could implement something super, super terrible. And whatever it is in your life that you want there, you could still find a way to involve that. 
because the technology and the enforcement is not currently in place to restrict you from that. You'd still be able to garden in your backyard. You'd still be able to worship, even if it's underground. You... <laughs> Finding some way to buy a house, yeah, that might be really difficult. It might be almost impossible for you. So now you have to figure out a way to rent the rest of your life. Do you see? It's like natural selection. The, the world evolves over time. We're no longer fighting enough tigers to stay alive. We're no longer part of the food chain in such a sense that like any second I could be eaten and destroyed. You're trying to solve these problems that are fairly complex. You know, how do you perform at work? How do you get through this next work review? How do you talk to the girl at the bar because you'd like to not die alone? It's a very complex issue of living in the modern age. And this elected official is going to just make things better? Uh, no. I say no. I say the power to determine my life is with me. I determine where my life is going. And yeah, there's outside circumstances that happen. Sometimes you're driving on the freeway and someone like swerves over and now you're in a car accident. You didn't choose that. Absolutely. That's how life works. Random stuff happens. But, but then you react to that as well. You find a way through it. And is it easy? No, of course not. Of course not. What? Life is hard. Life is very hard. <laughs> Everything you do is a struggle in a lot of ways. No one's taking that from you. No one's taking your struggle away. But you have the power to overcome it. You have this amazing thing in your skull called a brain. The human brain has solved every problem that we've ever thought of up to this point. You have the capacity to do that. You have the capacity to make your dreams into a reality. And giving these, these people on a stage, giving these people some kind of power, like they will solve my problems for me. That, that to me is ridiculous. Maybe good things could happen if that person's elected. If that person's elected. Uh, hey, great. Uh, awesome. I'm still going to have to react to whatever nation, whatever world, whatever situation I'm living in. I'm still going to have to figure it out as time goes on. It doesn't change my annual income, hopefully. <laughs> it doesn't change, you know, if I get drafted and have to go to war. It doesn't change how I interact with my neighbors, how I talk to my kids, how I work out. It doesn't change any of that. And we see that going back thousands of years of history, you're still able to do XYZ, whatever the thing is, you will find a way. If it's important to you, you'll find a way to do the thing under the totalitarian, totally terrible, whatever's happening regime that is holding you down. To the point that if it's so horrible, human history has shown that we rise up, <laughs> that there's some form of revolution that happens. And yeah, it could be terrible times during that before the rising up. And it could be terrible times afterwards. And then we all come together and we figure out ways to make it better. Again and again and again. As long as people are alive, we will work on improving our living standards. But we will do that on a personal basis. You'll do that in your daily life. You'll do that with your neighbors, with your best friends, with your family. <laughs> waiting for a person who I've never met who's only on the TV to solve my problems? Why would I ever give my power away to that? No. I just say no. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to make things good for me and my family. And hopefully along the way improve the lives of those that I interact with. So... Don't give away your power to other people. Don't, don't look at this and go, they'll solve all my problems. You will solve all your problems. Because you're awesome. Because there's nothing that you can't achieve. You just grind at it for a very long time in some cases. And it works out. That's how it's worked throughout history. 
things get real bad, things fall apart, things are really bad after the fallout, and then we make it better. Empower yourself. Feel like it's possible to go forward and, and make things better. Because you live in the USA, man, you're good. Everything's going to be fine. Take a deep breath. Relax. Regardless of what happens, we'll get through this. I hope you feel okay. I hope you're taking care of yourself. <laughs> I hope that this isn't too divisive. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, you just have to live with you and your neighbors. All the people you interact with. That could be the people living next to you. That could be your coworkers. Doesn't, the neighbors is a blanket term for everyone you see during your day. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Thanks for watching.